The fourth floor of Bellini is home to McGill Biochemistry's branch of chemical and structural biology, comprised of five research and one chemistry group. We have state-of-the-art biophysical instruments to help understand the intricacies of biological processes at a molecular level. One could say, since we're on the fourth floor, we're at the top of the biochemistry game here at the Bellini Building. Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Zamboni. Me and my colleagues work in this chemistry, in the only chemistry lab in the Bellini Building, and we provide small molecules, that is, molecules with molecular weights less than a thousand to the researchers in the Bellini building to help them in their research. Oh, hello there. I'm Martin Schmang, one of the professors here on the fourth floor of Bellini. In my group, we use X-ray crystallography and electron microscopy to study large macromolecular complexes like non-ribosomal peptide synthetases. These are really cool enzymes, and they move around a lot. To study them, we either need to use an electron microscope or crystallize them and use X-ray crystallography. And a lot of the lab is involved in the crystallization process. It's very difficult to get good, high-quality, really nice, fine crystals of these NRPSs. And a lot of the students in my lab are really experts at getting these crystals. Where should some big crystal up? Yeah, come in, man. Hey, man. Maria, police, my man, let me Good. So a major question is how the cell handles damage to misfolded proteins. This is a major concern in aging, right? Because as we get older, we accumulate proteins with damage. A major mechanism are proteins called molecular chaperones. These help other proteins to fold, and they protect against misfolding. Interestingly, they're also involved in the degradation of proteins, which removes damaged proteins that are beyond repair. So I see that uh, the mandate of our laboratory is twofold. The first is to understand the molecular basis of disease. And one of the proteins that we're quite interested in is uh, Parkin, which is involved in Parkinson's disease. And the second mandate is, is one of training. We're, I'm very proud of our, our graduate and undergraduate students, especially the undergraduates, because they really represent the future of biomedical research. I'm working for, for an undergrad. Where is Josh? Where is George? Hi, my name is Bushan, and here in my lab we focus on unraveling the mysteries of nature's molecular processes. Particularly, we focus on macromolecules of the innate immune system, and we use a variety of biophysical techniques such as extra crystallography and small angle x-ray scattering. Using these methods, we hope to find new therapies to fight infectious disease brought on by nature. As you can see, we are quite attuned to nature here in the lab. My lab is interested in drug development and using structural biology approaches to advance drug development. For this, we study drug targets, which are macromolecules. We study their three-dimensional shape, how they work, and how inhibitors act on these drug targets. And then we hope to convert these inhibitors into actual drugs. Hey guys, Albert sent a letter. Dearest members of my lab, I'm sorry I can't spend much time with you all with all of you. 
being chair keeps me really busy. But you're always in my thoughts. Just the other day, I came across one of Bram's manuscripts in my piles of paper. Hold on, Bram graduated two years ago. Who's Bram? It brings me happiness, knowing how productive my team is. As I watch upon from McIntyre, I truly appreciate your hard work and dedication. See you all at the, at the lab meeting. Yours, Albert.